my name is Shahan and today is Sunday which means I'm gonna do a cozy lazy day in the life slash reading vlog. Let's talk about books I'm currently reading. Number one is her, Babel by RF Kwang. She is thick and I'm about a third of the way in. I'm on page 156. So far I am absolutely loving this read. I am a fan of RF Kwang. I have read the first book in the Poppy War trilogy, The Poppy War, which was phenomenal. And I cannot wait to jump more into this. Now the part I'm on does read a little bit like a textbook, but I very much enjoyed part one. I'm almost at part three. Things are happening. I'm getting a little bit worried. But yeah, so far loving this. Hopefully can get a good chunk of this read today. Now the next book I'm planning on maybe even finishing this weekend, that might be presumptuous because it's long, is All the Young Dudes. Now this is a fan fiction. It's a Marauders fan fiction and it's just one of the best things I've ever read. Now it's got 188 chapters, it's ridiculously long. I'm on chapter 122. Keep in mind I started this only a couple days ago and yeah I have not stopped reading. It's amazing, I love it. And it's a nice little break because I've been in my Dramine fanfiction era for quite a while so it's nice to read something a little bit different. Now if I do have the time today I also want to read a little bit of couplets by Maggie Milner. This is a poetry collection. Faber very kindly sent me this last month and it's a poetry collection about love. We actually follow a story through the poems which is really interesting and you know it's mega short and I'm just sort of in that mood. You know what I'm talking about when you just sort of love love. <laughs> so yeah come along with my day of productivity and let's see what I actually get read because I'm really in the reading mood guys I just want to read everything. Okay, whilst I'm organising my bookshelves, I want to talk to you about this book. I am currently reading the entire long list for the Women's Prize for Fiction. This is one of the nominations. I've not read it yet, but I'm so excited. It is Wandering Souls by Cecile Pin. Now, the only thing I know about this book, apart from the fact that it's been long listed for the Women's Prize for Fiction, I keep seeing videos of people reading this and then sobbing on TikTok. This is really high on my TBR. I actually might start this next week. Right, update. I moved a bunch of my unread books to this shelf. I am still in shock that I own the entire Shadow and Bone trilogy and I've still not read it. I've put off watching the TV show until I've read these books and I've still not read it. That needs to be fixed very soon. So there's a bunch of books on this shelf I want to get to very quickly, especially the first book in the Throne of Glass series. One of my good friends is a massive fan of this series and I just want to know what the hype is about. I want to be part of that exclusive Sarah J Mass Club. I also want to read If We Were Villains because I'm a big fan of The Secret History, of Dark Academia in general, and I've heard really good things. Um, to be honest, all of these books I want to read very, very soon. Now I still have a bunch of books on these shelves that I've not read, like for example I've not read the second book in the Poppy War trilogy but I think for now it's fine where it is, I don't know where else to put them. Um, yeah my shelves are getting pretty full, there's a bit of space dotted here and there but in general they're getting pretty full. Starting from scratch, brick by brick. No path carved out. Right, I've been reading all the young dudes on my phone because I left my iPad at work, but it's okay. And I want to talk about it because I'm at the point where 
if I don't tell someone, I'm just gonna end up finding a really high spot and just yelling it to the whole world. So instead, I'm gonna tell the camera. I'm on chapter 127 out of 188. This fic is a Marauders fic, but it's told in the point of view of Remus Lupin, and that's fascinating because if you've read the books, if you've watched the movies, we don't know too much about Remus Lupin. We know that he became a professor at Hogwarts for one year. We know he's a werewolf. He was part of the Marauders and he's in the Order of the Phoenix and later marries Tonks and dies. Like that is it, that's all we know really. So to read a book of this magnitude, because it is huge, in Remus's point of view is so fascinating. I love his character in this fic. I love everyone's character in this fic, even Peter, which is really disgusting to say, I know. But at the point where I'm at, he's still a good guy and it just sort of breaks my heart knowing what is to come. So we follow Remus from when he's young to all his years at Hogwarts. So currently where I'm at, it's year seven. And yeah, it's insane. There's also a romance in this fanfic and I'm not gonna get too much into that. I'm gonna let that be a surprise. As someone who reads fanfics often, this is incredible. How have I not read this before now? I'm obsessed, it might become my new personality. So yeah, I'm gonna continue reading for a little bit and then I think I'm going to try and pick up Babel again. Babel, Babel, I don't know. Read a little bit of that and then, I don't know, I'm in the mood to do so many things today. Reading update for Babel. So I managed to get to part three, which is really good. I would say I'm almost halfway in this book and so far I'm absolutely loving it. There was a little bit of a lull in part two where it just read too much like a textbook, but at the same time I was in awe because the amount of research this author had to do to write this book, the amount of knowledge she must possess is insane. This book makes me feel like I'm getting smarter. <laughs> I'm learning a lot, it's incredible, it's written beautifully and yeah, I'm in awe. There's a scene in the book where exams are over and the exam results are posted publicly and everyone's rushing to go see what mark they got and one student didn't do well and they publicly shamed that student and then they forcefully had to like remove him from the university and that just sort of made me like stressed. <laughs> I felt stressed on that student's behalf and I felt the pressure that these students must be feeling. Like I know Babel is like a very exclusive school but it's just mad. I love this read, I'm so happy I'm reading it and also I'm going to an RF Quang event, I believe it's in May, um, to meet the author, to get a copy of her new book Yellowface. So perfect timing to read this book. I've had this journal for a while. I've only ever decorated the cover and done one inside page. Now I got this in 2021. I know it's 2021 because the only page I decorated was this. So I'm thinking this could be my random journal. I have a bullet journal and I've got set spreads in that and I'm thinking I might use this just to decorate. I'm going to cover this up for sure because, you know, I'm not living in the past. And I am feeling a little bit crafty today, so I think I'm going to at least make 
a title page and just sort of see what I decide to do with it. I own a lot of craft stuff. These cupboards are not exactly organised, but that is a project for a different day. I think I'm going to use some of the thousands of packs of stickers and honestly it gets deeper than this. I don't think I can actually show you how much I hoard stickers. But I think I'm going to pull some out and just mess about a bit. I mean, this is what I do on my Sunday. So for the first spread, I decided to go for a bit of a pink moment. I'm feeling very pink today. So I've pulled out some stuff that I could use. I've got these little cards I could stick down. Um, some random scraps here. You know, you need a bit of cute stickers. So I pulled out this. I've also got some cherry blossoms some stamps, I'm hoping there's some pinkish stamps in here. And then also, anyone that scrapbooks knows you always need to have random bits of scrap paper you can use just for some texturing, for some layers. How fun. <laughs> Starting from scratch, brick by brick. No path carved out for us now. The brush is And this is what it looks like now that I've covered up the 2021. I went for a pink theme and I decided to put words as the word of this month. So I put that in the middle. And the reason why I chose that is because I'm currently reading a lot of books that have beautiful words. I love words. It's a reason why I love to read. And I just think that is a huge improvement and honestly, just a lot of fun. I really recommend doing crafts, especially if you're someone that gets stressed easily. Um, yeah, done. Oh my god this angle is horrific <laughs> but i'm gonna end the vlog here guys thank you so much for watching um just a typical sunday in the life and i'm gonna go wash my face now and continue reading a little bit more of all the young dudes because it doesn't matter the list of things i have to get done that's all i can think about and i can't move on until i finished it so please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that usual stuff YouTubers apparently have to ask in videos and I'll see you in my next video.